if we play like how we did today, we can beat any team. So that's kind of how we looked at it, it's just playing our baseball. Yeah, I've got to agree. If you score 24 runs, you are probably going to win any baseball game you play. Welcome in. I'm Andre Johnson with your sports. The Wright State Raiders put on a Superman performance against a team that's really been their kryptonite all season. And now they're heading to regionals. Now we will hear from the team in just a minute, but first we got to get to the action. And there was plenty of action. We picked this game up in the bottom of the first. Bases loaded, 3-2 count, two outs, and Sammy Sass blasts one all the way to the interstate over the wall in left field. The Raiders taking an early 4-0 lead, but he did miss the slam dunk celebration afterwards, so take that how you will. We go to the top of the third. Grand slams help, but the saying goes defense wins championships. And here's the proof. The 4-6-3 double play. Alex Tice hitless through five innings on the mound. He gave the Raiders a great boost defensively. But we go back to the plate in the bottom of the third. Gary Anglin, a great baseball name, by the way, and a great shot opposite field to right center. That one bouncing off the wall and Garrick bouncing into second base. Next batter up is Sammy Sass. Now, we just saw his teammate Zane Harris break the Horizon League tournament record with nine RBIs yesterday. And Zayn had that record to himself for all of 24 hours. Sass, three home runs, nine RBIs today. He did miss that dunk attempt today, so we're really going to have to get some, some tips from the basketball team. But hey, speaking of other sports, the Raiders putting up a football score at the niche. 24 to nothing, the final. That's a Horizon League tournament single game record. Yes, that trophy did just snap in half, but it's okay. They fixed it. All is fine. This is also the Raiders' fifth conference championship in the last five seasons. But that kind of dominance is no surprise when you sign on to play with the Wright State Raiders. They like to win, right? We, we recruit winners. We, we value it a lot. And, and, you know, it's just proud of the guys. It just shows you how hard these guys work. We always say we have the hardest workers in the country, and I think it shows out on the field. Um, they just love to compete. They love the big stage. And you saw that this weekend. We work really hard for this, and it doesn't come easy. It's expected here at Wright State, but it doesn't come easy. So it feels really well. It feels really good. I mean, it takes a lot of hard work, but when you come be a Raider, that you're, we expect championships. The Raiders will find out exactly which regional they'll play in during the selection show on Monday. Last year, they went to Tennessee and came two outs away from beating the Volunteers, who at the time were one of the best teams in the nation. Now, they did lose on a heartbreaking walk-off Grand Slam, but they learned a lot. Tonight at 10, we'll talk about the Raider, what the Raiders took from that experience and how it'll help them this time around. But for now, that's a look at your local sports. I'm going to send it back to Bren for a very tasty story.